Hey everybody, Tyler with Outboard Specialty and today um, we're just showing you how to prime the Bubble Purge G2 bleed kit so that you can get the air out of your cylinder attachment before you connect it to your steering system. The reason you do this is if you prime up your cylinder attachment here and fill it with fluid, um, you're not adding any air to your steering system um, by connecting our stuff to it. So you get all the air out of here and then you connect up to your steering cylinder and you know that you're not adding air to your system, which you're just gonna have to bleed back out. So the steps are real super easy. As you can see, we have our bottle fill tube here. This is gonna go on your um, fluid bottle. This is your threaded helm fitting. And this is your flush fill attachment. And we're gonna show you how you connect these up to prime up your cylinder attachment. Okay. So here we have, again, um, this is our G2 kit minus the bottle fill tube, which we don't need for priming up the um, cylinder attachment. So this is about as easy as easy can get. So we take helm fitting. We're just going to pop it into the end of cylinder attachment right here. So this opens up this valve, which remains shut unless it's coupled with something. Take our other, our flush fill attachment, click it in there, just like that. So now, with couplers in both ends of the cylinder attachment, fluid or air or whatever can move freely through the uh, connectors. Now we just connect up our bottle. Whoop. And all we're going to do now is squeeze a little bit of fluid in here. It'll only take a few seconds. If you hold the other end up, it's going to fill up pretty quickly. As you can see, it's full. Go ahead and pop our fitting out. Pop our other fitting out on this end. And now you have your cylinder attachment has all the air removed from it and is totally primed and ready to go on to the hydraulic steering cylinder. The reason we do this is, let's say you are dealing with a steering system that has mostly got all of the air out of it or has minimal amount of air in it and you're not wanting to introduce more air into it, well, this is all you do. Fill this up with fluid, it takes a few extra seconds, it's primed, and then you're not putting air into your system. Obviously, if your system is completely empty and has nothing but air in it, this step is one you could probably skip. But again, for systems that you're just dealing with small maintenance or diagnostic work, priming your G2 kit will make things go a lot more quickly and easily. Again, Tyler with Outboard Specialty. Hope this little tip on priming your Bubble Purge G2 kit helped out. And if you have any questions, as always, contact us anytime. Thanks.